Okay, so we're going to have a look for a sequence which is both Fibonacci and geometric. So in order to be a Fibonacci sequence, you can have any two starting values you like, then you need to follow this rule that the next term is the sum of the previous two, and so on and so on. With your geometric sequence, you don't have any restrictions on your first term, but then every term after that has to be a previous term multiplied by this common ratio, r. And we're looking for a sequence which satisfies both of these definitions. So you might be able to think of a sort of trivial example, just the sequence 0, 0, 0, 0. This is a Fibonacci and a geometric sequence, which is not particularly interesting. Let's see if we can find some more interesting examples. So let's imagine we start with a0, and we say a0 isn't 0, because if a0 is 0, you're just a geometric sequence. It's stuck as this 0, 0, 0, 0 sequence. And then a1, this has got to be equal to r multiplied by a0, where r is our common ratio. And then a2, this has to be r squared, a0. But then at this point in the sequence, the Fibonacci rules start to kick in. So you know that this also has to be equal to the sum of the previous two terms. This has to be equal to r a0 plus a0. Or if you factorise this, r plus 1 multiplied by a0. So already we're seeing some restrictions on r. We see that r has to satisfy, because a0 isn't 0, r squared is equal to r plus 1. So if you want to solve this, r squared equals r plus 1, just a simple quadratic, r squared minus r minus 1 equals 0. Put this into the quadratic form, you get r as a half, plus or minus root 5 over 2. And you may recognise the positive solution here as the golden ratio. So we'll say here r equals 5, the golden ratio. And the negative solution is the negative reciprocal. So you can show this by rationalising the denominator here if you like. So in order to have a Fibonacci and geometric sequence, it seems we need to have our common ratio is either 5 or it's negative reciprocal. So let's have a look. This is our first example. We say we start with any non-zero a0, and our next term is 5 a0, 5 squared a0, and so on. So what we're saying here is that our kth term, ak, is 5 to the power of k multiplied by your initial value, a0. So this is, certainly it's a geometric sequence, but now we need to check, is this actually a Fibonacci sequence as well? So what we'll do is, let's have a look at a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2. So hopefully we can show that the sum of these two terms is equal to a n. So just from the definition, we've got 5 to the power of n minus 1 multiplied by your initial term plus 5 to the n minus 2 multiplied by your initial term. Then we can factorise here, you end up with 5 plus 1 which goes into 5 to the n minus 2 a0. Okay, but now if you remember that phi is a solution to this equation, so phi squared is equal to 5 plus 1, really importantly, which means we can replace 5 plus 1 here by phi squared. So you've got phi squared multiplied by phi to the n minus 2 a0, then combine your powers, you get phi to the n a0. And this is really nice because now phi to the n multiplied by a0, this is just your nth term. So this is equal to a n. So what we've shown is any two terms, a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2, their sum has to be equal to the next term. So this is indeed a Fibonacci sequence. So let's have a look now at the other example. So you start with any a0, and then you have negative 1 over phi a0. Then your next term is 1 over phi squared a0, and so on. So what we're saying here is our kth term, this is negative phi to the power of negative k, multiplied by your initial term. We'll try the exact same sort of argument as before. We'll start with a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2. So just from the definition, this gives you minus phi to the power of minus n minus 1, multiplied by a0 plus minus phi to the power of minus n minus 2 multiplied by your initial term a0. And then we can factorise again here. You're definitely you're going to take out a factor of a0. You can also take out a factor of phi minus phi to the power of minus n. And then what you're left with here is, if you think from the negative one here, you're left with a minus phi and then plus a phi squared. Okay, so what do we do with this? 
Well, we can refer back to our original equation that phi, the golden ratio, satisfies. So phi squared minus phi minus 1 equals 0, so phi squared minus phi has to be equal to 1. So this term here actually just disappears. It's a 1. So then you're left with minus phi to the power of minus n multiplied by a naught. And this is, if you remember back to our definition for this sequence, this is indeed equal to a n. So you've shown that you start with any two terms, a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2. The sum of these two consecutive terms gives you the next term. So there you go, we've actually managed to find two non-trivial examples, really nice examples, of sequences that are both geometric and Fibonacci. It's just another of these instances in maths where the golden ratio seems to appear out of nowhere in a problem.